Ever heard of someone being described as musically gifted? What exactly does that mean? Let's dive into this exciting world of musical adroitness. When we say someone is musically gifted, we're talking about a person who has a natural talent for music. This can manifest in several ways, and it's not just about being able to play an instrument or sing. It's about having an innate sense of rhythm, pitch, and melody, and being able to understand and create music intuitively. Think about a little girl, barely taller than the piano stool she's sitting on, her tiny fingers gliding over the keys, playing a complex classical piece by ear. She's never had a lesson, never even seen sheet music, but the melody flows from her as naturally as speech. She, my dear listeners, is musically gifted. Or consider a teenager who can effortlessly switch between different musical instruments. One moment he's strumming a guitar, the next he's tickling the ivories, and then he's belting out a tune on a saxophone. He adapts to the language of each instrument as easily as a chameleon changes its colors. That's another example of being musically gifted, but it's important to remember that while some people may be born with a natural talent for music, others develop their musical gifts through rigorous practice. Just like a sculptor chiseling a masterpiece out of a block of stone, they carve out their musical prowess note by note, scale by scale. They practice until their fingers bleed, until the music is so ingrained in their souls that it becomes second nature. So, whether it's a prodigious child playing a symphony on a grand piano, a versatile teenager juggling multiple instruments, or a dedicated adult who has honed their musical skills through years of practice, they all share one thing in common. They are musically gifted. So when you come across the term musically gifted, you now know it's all about a natural knack for music. What about sheet music? Is it a special kind of paper? Well, not exactly. Sheet music is a term used to describe a musical notation written on paper. Picture a symphony orchestra, each musician intently reading their parts from sheets of paper. That's sheet music, or imagine a choir, each member holding a piece of paper as they learn a new song. Again, that's sheet music. Sheet music is like a map, guiding musicians through the landscape of a musical piece. It tells them when to play, what notes to play, and how to play them. It may seem like a complex system of dots and lines to the untrained eye, but to musicians, it's a language as familiar as their mother tongue. So the next time you see a musician studying a piece of paper filled with strange symbols, remember this. They're not deciphering some secret code. They're reading sheet music, the written form of musical language. Remember, sheet music is nothing but the written form of musical language. And song lyrics? Are they different from poetry? Well, let's dive into that. Song lyrics indeed are the words to a song. Think of some of your favorite tunes. The lyrics are what you're belting out in the shower or humming along to in the car. They are the story that the song is telling, the emotions it's conveying. For instance, the Beatles' Let It Be uses lyrics to deliver a message of acceptance and resilience. However, while lyrics can certainly be poetic, they are fundamentally designed to be sung. They're crafted not just to read beautifully on a page, but to flow melodically when put to music. Song lyrics often have a rhythm, a rhyme, a cadence that complements the song's melody. So when you think about it, song lyrics are not just words. They're words that have been specially designed to sing. So song lyrics are the words that give a song its meaning and emotional impact. How about a sizable following? Is it about social media? Well, partly yes, but it's more than that. A sizable following refers to having a lot of fans. Fans who are there to support, appreciate, and amplify an artist's music. Let's take a look at some examples. Imagine a musician who sells out concert venues in minutes, has millions of followers on social media platforms, and whose music is played in every corner of the globe. This musician has a sizable following. The power of fans cannot be understated. They are the ones who attend concerts, buy albums, stream songs, and share the music with others. They provide the emotional and financial support that fuels a musician's career. In the digital age, a sizable following can be found both offline at concerts and online on social media platforms. It's a crucial part of a musician's success. So a sizable following is all about the fans who support and appreciate an artist's music. Finally, what does playing gigs mean? In the world of music, playing gigs simply refers to giving small informal performances. These aren't your massive stadium concerts or week-long music festivals. 
No, gigs are much more intimate, often taking place in local bars, cozy cafes, or even private events. Just picture a local band jamming away in a bustling pub or a solo artist serenading a small crowd at a private party. These are just a couple of examples of what playing gigs looks like. But don't let the size fool you. While they may be small, gigs are incredibly significant. For many musicians, gigs serve as a launch pad, a stepping stone towards bigger stages and larger audiences. It's where they cut their teeth, hone their craft, and build their fan base. So, when you hear playing gigs, think of it as musicians showcasing their talent in intimate, live settings. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We started with musically gifted, describing a natural talent for music. Then we explored sheet music, the written notation of melodic magic. We moved on to song lyrics, the poetic words that give a song its soul. We then talked about a sizable following indicating a large fan base. Finally, playing gigs refers to small informal performances, each term an essential part of the music world. And there you have it, five music-related English collocations demystified. Until next time, keep learning and exploring the world of English.